About 40 years ago, on November 24, 1974, paleoanthropologist Professor Donald Johansson of Arizona State University made a timeless discovery in Hadar, Ethiopia, the bones of the oldest human ancestor, Lucy. I recently had the opportunity to interview Professor Johansson. Well, Lucy was the uh, first major discovery in the Afar region and drew many archaeologists and anthropologists' attention to the possibility in Ethiopia of more discoveries. Mm -hmm. And 40 years later, we see six or seven teams, research teams, working in the Afar region. And very fortunately, a number of those are under the direction of Ethiopian scholars. Hmm. And, and I think that the future of paleoanthropology in Ethiopia will be in the hands of the scholars who have decided to become professionals and we've had the opportunity to train in the United States and France hmm. and elsewhere. But uh, recently I read uh, at the Human Origins, uh, at the Institute of Human Origins at Arizona State University, which uh, you helped found, uh, received about five million, uh, million research grant, the largest yes. ever amount uh, provided to research on human origins. Uh, can you tell us about some of the new research uh, questions that the Institute plans to work on? with the grant? Well, this grant is to try to understand the um, evolutionary origins of modern human behavior, of how we came to be a uh, such a dominant species on the planet, and several aspects of the grant will specifically apply to doing research at the Hadar site, looking for evidence of early stone tools and also looking for evidence of the earliest members of our own genus, Homo. And then one um, other question I've always wanted to ask you is, I know you've also focused on the issue of uh, uh, evo uh, evolutionary legacy, uh, which, took, which took hundreds of years. Um, evolve, uh, but in, in a technology-driven, fast-paced world that is dramatically different than the one mm -hmm. our ancestors encountered, how can understanding our evolutionary history help us in adapting to this new world? Well, I think the understanding of the common origin of all people from Africa mm -hmm gives us an important perspective that we should try to act in a way that is has you know better results for preserving our environments and the other question is yeah can you tell me about the naming of lucy both the uh, lucy and dinkanesh how how the name came about uh following my discovery of this uh, skeleton, we were at our camp in the Afar and were celebrating uh, the discovery. And uh, a Beatles tape was playing. Um, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is the name of the album. And a song called Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was uh, playing. And someone in the camp, one of the members of the camp, uh -huh. she suggested that we call the skeleton Lucy, and the name stuck. Uh, but but I was uh, I thought that she sh I was I thought this is a an Ethiopian fossil with a a Western name. Wouldn't it be nice if she had a uh, scientific name? I mean, an Ethiopian name. So yeah. one of the people from the Ministry of Culture, uh, the Director General, his name was uh, Otto Bekele, Negusier, uh, he said, why don't you call her Dinkanesh? And uh, 
that is uh, her Ethiopian name. 